Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So this is our group assignment for Foundation of Management, and we are from class AFT one zero two three L four. And our lecturer's name is Sir Hasnuddin bin Hasan. Our group members are Fatin Fakia binti Zakaria, Nasa Sabila Shahira binti Ramli, and Sashian Taran anak lelaki Intiran. Management is the process of administering and controlling the activities of an organization regardless of its form, type, structure or size can be defined as management. It is the act of establishing and sustaining a business climate in which the organization's member may collaborate and achieve company goals efficiently and effectively. Frederick Winslow, Henry Gunn, Henry Fayel, Mary Parker Follett and Max Weber are some of the scientists who developed the basic concept that is used by general administration in management. Frederick Winslow Frederick Winslow Taylor was an American who made a name for himself making time efficient in the work of many major organizations. He is the most known for his time management idea based on applicable approach such as scientific management in 1911. Frederick Winslow Taylor was the father of scientific management and considered one of the most influential inventory inventor in history. According to theorism of scientific management, factory management responsible was to figure out the best manner for workers to do their duties, offer the required to and training, and promote successful performance. Example, Taylor work with peaceful production was emphasized, which means the eight workers were compensated based on how much they produced. Taylor work provide the foundation for the variety of compensation scheme, including sale commission and pay based on sale volume. He did on the basis that individuals should do as much work as, as the body and mind are capable of. First class occupation are fair and based on what people reasonable anticipate, not on physical stress or rigorous exercise. Advantage of Taylor's management First, efficient production Second, reduce in accuracy Third, beneficial for country And the last one is save the time There are also a disadvantage in Taylor's management First, demotivating a pause Second, adversely effect And then, work assumption And last but not least, word division Henry Gant. Henry Gant was an American mechanical architect and board specialist best known for his contribution to keep advancements of rational management. Gant agrees with Frederick that differential rate structure may have an effect on worker motivation. Gant recommends that this approach be implemented at a high level to keep employees engaged and improve their skills. A gun chart is a project management tool existing in the planning and scheduling of projects of all sizes. Gun charts consider the checking of planned timetables as well as identifying which tasks a project manager can focus on. In 1901, Gun proposed his errand and compensation pay system, which was a slight division from Taylor's differential piece rate framework. Example, if the worker completes the task in less than the standard time, he is given wages for the standard time plus a bonus 20% of the wages for the standard time. Con content and example, the gun chart is a graphical depiction of project schedule. This gun chart very useful nowadays academy proposed. Example, students use the chart to complete the assignment. Henry Gunn also established that Task and bonus system theory it is the individual wage incentive output based plan. Example, if the worker fails to complete the task within the standard time, receive wages for actual time spent. Ad advantage Help you set the practical time frame. Second, bonus system and task is wages that organization provide to employees based on their performance. Next, be in the mind activities in your company that are unrelated to this project but could consume money and time. And disadvantage, business that adopt a bureaucratic structure are more likely to engage in a management practice such as power centralization or oligarchy. The problem with bureaucratic pragmatism is that that ignores human consider. Insufficient develops as a result of mass Weber approach theory. Thank you. Henry Fayol. 
Purifier was a French mining engineer, mining executive, author, and mining director who developed a general theory of business administration, often called feudalism, at age 19. He began building his list of the 14 most essential management principles of the all time and two years before resigning as director in 1916. He has been called a father of management because of his management idea, which are still being used today. The 14 principles are division of work, authority and responsibility, discipline, order, unity of direction, subordination of individual to generate interest, remuneration, centralization, scholarship, equity, stability of tenure of the workers, initiative, spirit, the corps, and unity of common. Refuel's approach. This principle promotes clear rules and regulations to ensure good disciplines and compliance of employees. Henry Fayol believed that management practices of an organization can be identified by certain models. For example, Mercedes-Benz has divided certain tasks that must be performed by employees to produce quality products from the beginning of the manufacturing process to the end of the manufacturing process. Advantages objective that has been determined and will surely be achieved. This is because with the principle of order coordination and management coordination, only one leader will give the instruction. These theories can also express the spirit of pity among the members of the organization. The principles formulated by Henry Fayol also provide sufficient and clear guidelines for the manager to make effective use of the organization's resources. Disadvantages. This story is more about authority than on democracy. This will ensure that an individual is stressed and unable to concentrate on the job and seems to hate the manager. This story also based on humans. These are the same weakness of any system that relies on human being to be in control given several factors such as personality and that can make a mistakes. Mary Parker Follett Mary Parker Follett was an American social theorist who popularized human psychology and human relation concepts in the workplace. Follett spreading her idea about leadership at her workplace and her idea accepted by her leader. The concept was to concentrate on leadership. She used praise, power with rather than power over, and the meaning of this term is that a great leader prioritizes cooperation with complete address via compromise. Follow management theories focus on individual and the importance of autonomy is motivating people to work together. A notion which manager use today is that the CEO of the company should allow staff to cooperate and contribute and ideas to a project as this will aid the company's success. Content an example of Mary Parker Follett. Follett's think that Taylor neglected the human management aspect. In the most of organization management, pays little attention to employees' contribution. For example, they should be incorporated in the job analysis process according to Follett. This means this mean the manager should provide employees the opportunity to participate in the job analysis and development process. Second, manager need training to lead and manage business properly. For example, managers should treat themselves professionally when interacting with staff. There are a few advantages in management by Mary Parker Follett. One of them is conflict resolution. There are three ways to resolve a conflict. The first one is dominance, second, compromise, and the last one, integration. And second advantage is leadership. There are three types of leadership. First, positional leadership, second, personality leadership, and the last one is functional leadership. There are also the advantage in management by Mary Parker Follett. First, not all methods can be used to resolve the problem. Also, there are ways that can be versus the situation. Second, in administrative management, some opinions say that there are shortcomings in terms of discipline and difficult to grow in large company. Third, administrative management does always work and not always able to solve the problem in an integrated manner. Last, the last one, strategy in administrative management does have a specific way. Max Weber Max Weber According to Max Weber, bureaucracy is the most efficient and rational mode of operation for private firms and government agencies. His contribution to 20th century social thought was so significant and long-lasting that he was dubbed a classical sociologist. Weber distinguishes between two types of society, the pro-modern society characterized by traditional power dominance, the modern society characterized by rational legal rule domination. Content and example, there should be no other short of power or relationship, no friendship and animosity, no conspiracy and no committed body in the ideal bureaucracy. Weber also claims that ideal shorts of bureaucracy necessitates that use of taught administrative tools which include features such as repetitive, no ambiguity, discretion, no disagreements, 
continuity and agreement advantage mass weber theory is accountability one of the reason of organization decision to employ this structure is to better identify roles during the decision making process hierarchy and duty defining hierarchy and specification of this duty can strengthen the scope of power visible in the department program small unit and for each individual employee it can be offer strength to the bureaucracy organization disadvantage business that adopt a bureaucratic structure are more likely to engage in a management practice such as power centralization or oligarchy the problem with bureaucratic pragmatism is that that ignores human consider insufficient develops as a result of mass weber approach theory Thank in conclusion these are five figures that have shown the behavior and science of management has made many contributions to managers to understand the organization and how to manage it